Did you know that the story of American paper money goes all the way back to 1775? That's when the Continental Congress first printed paper notes called Continental Currency to help pay for the Revolutionary War. But did you know those early bills didn't last long? They lost value fast because they weren't backed by gold or silver, and lots of fake notes were made. Since then the US has worked hard to make sure money looks great and is super hard to copy. Have you ever wondered how today's dollar bills are made? How do they keep them safe from counterfeiters? From special watermarks to tiny printed details, modern banknotes have some amazing security tricks. In this video, we'll explore the entire process of how American paper money is made today, from the paper itself to the final step before it reaches your hands. If you're curious to learn all about it, stick around. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more cool and interesting videos just like this one. Paper. Not just ordinary paper. Even though we call it paper money, US bills aren't made from the same paper as books or newspapers. They don't come from wood pulp. Instead, they're made from a special mix of 75% cotton and 25% linen. That's why they feel a little rough and are hard to tear. That strong, cloth-like texture helps them last a long time. This special money paper is made by only one company called Crane Currency in Dalton, Massachusetts. They've been doing this for over 100 years and they're the only ones allowed to make it for the US government. No one else is allowed to use or own this special paper. It's against the law. If you look closely at a real bill, you'll see tiny red and blue threads inside the paper. These tiny fibers are part of the first step to stop fake money. And here's something cool. No two bills have the same pattern of fibers, which makes copying them really hard. Hidden watermarks and security threads. To make US money even safer, some hidden features are added right into the paper. If you ever hold a real bill up to the light, you might see a soft, ghost-like picture. That's called a watermark. It usually matches the person on the front of the bill, like Abraham Lincoln or Benjamin Franklin. This watermark is hard to fake, so it helps tell if a bill is real or not. For bills that are $5.00 and up, there's also a thin, clear strip inside the paper called a security thread. This thread runs up and down vertically and has very tiny writing on it. It shows the bill's value. So if it's a $10 bill, the thread will say 10. You can't see it well unless you hold the bill up to the light. Here's something really cool. Under UV ultraviolet light, this thread glows. A $5.00 bill glows blue and a $10 bill glows orange. It's one more way to check if a bill is the real deal. From art to engraving, creating the plates. Now that the special paper is ready, the next big step is printing, but before that, there's a lot of artwork and carving involved. It all begins with sketches made by skilled artists. They draw the faces, numbers, borders, and all the designs we see on our money. Then, engravers step in. These experts use a special tool called a pantograph pen to carve the drawings onto steel plates, also known as master dies. This carving is done by hand and it can take days because every little detail has to be perfect. These steel plates aren't just plain metal, they're coated with chromium to handle the high pressure used in printing. The engravings also include tiny lines and dots, something called microprinting, if you look very closely at a $100 bill, you'll spot tiny words like the United States of America hidden in Benjamin Franklin's collar. These small details are super hard for counterfeiters to copy, making your money safe. Adding color with offset printing. For bills that are $5 and higher, the first big step in printing is called offset printing. This step adds the colorful background designs you see on both sides of the bill. But here's the cool part, the ink doesn't go straight from the plate to the paper. Instead, it goes from the plate to a soft rubber blanket and then onto the paper. This special method helps make the colors look sharp, clean, and very detailed. The machines used for this job are huge, more than 50 feet long and weigh over 70 tons. 
They work really fast too, printing up to 10,000 sheets every hour. That's a lot of money being made. But even with all that speed, the process still needs a human touch. Skilled workers carefully watch the machines the whole time. Every 500 sheets, they take one out to check it closely and make sure there are no mistakes. Intaglio printing, giving bills their unique feel. After the colorful background is printed, the bills go through the next step called intaglio printing. This is where the raised designs and textures are added. The parts you can feel when you touch a real bill. This special printing uses the engraved steel plates we talked about earlier. First, the ink goes into the tiny grooves carved into the plates. Then, the extra ink is wiped away and the plates press down onto the paper with massive force, up to 20 tons. This pressure pushes the ink deep into the paper and creates the raised lines you can feel with your fingers. That raised texture isn't just cool, it's also one of the toughest things for fake money makers to copy. Intaglio machines are fast too, printing up to 10,000 sheets every hour, but they can only print one color at a time. After this step, the printed bills are left to dry for about three days before moving on to the next part of the process, adding serial numbers and seals. The final step in printing is called letterpress printing. This is where each bill gets its serial numbers, the treasury seal and the federal reserve seal, all important for tracking and proving the bill is real. For bills $10.00 and higher, the number in the bottom right corner gets a special color shifting ink. When you tilt the bill, the color changes from copper to green. It's a smart trick to make fake bills easier to spot. Rigorous inspection, no room for error. After printing, the bills go through a smart machine called the Offline Currency Inspection System, OCIS. This machine uses cameras and software to check both sides of each sheet. Super fast, about 2.5 sheets every second. If the machine finds any tiny mistakes, it pulls out those sheets for a closer look, but if some of the bills on that sheet are still good, they're saved and handled separately. Cutting and Packaging after the bills pass the inspection, it's time to cut them. Big machines called guillotines slice the large sheets first across, then down into the size we all know, about 2.61 inches by 6.14 inches. Next, the bills are stacked in groups of 100, with bands showing their value. These stacks are wrapped into bundles, and four bundles make a brick. That's 4,000 bills in total. Then, four bricks are packed onto a skid, which holds 16,000 bills. Now here's something cool. If those are all $100 bills, one skid can be worth $64 million. These skids are stored in super safe Federal Reserve vaults, waiting to be sent out when needed. Transporting money safely. When the money is ready to go out into the world, keeping it safe becomes very important. The bills are packed into armored trucks, those big trucks with thick metal walls and strong locks that you might have seen before. Sometimes, guards ride along to make sure nothing goes wrong during the trip. Every part of the journey is planned carefully. The money travels from the place where it's printed to the Federal Reserve Banks. From there, it goes to regular banks all over the country. Finally, it reaches you when you take out cash buy something at a store, or get change from a cashier. So the path your dollar takes is not just interesting, it's also super protected. It shows how much effort goes into making sure your money is safe and ready to use whenever you need it. Cool, right? Interesting facts about making money. Did you know it costs about three to nine cents to make each US bill? The cost changes depending on the value of the bill. Bigger bills, like $50 or $100, usually cost a little more to make because they have extra security features to keep them safe from fake copies. These features help protect our money and make sure it's real. Making American money is a cool mix of art, science, and technology. Talented artists design the pictures, scientists help choose special materials, and smart machines print the bills with tiny details that are hard to copy. All this hard work makes sure the money is strong, lasts a long time, and stays safe. Even though we use money every day, 
Most of us don't stop to think about how much effort goes into making each bill. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. Why is it so important to protect our money? Every step in making U.S. money is carefully planned to protect its value and stop fake bills. Fake money can cause big problems. It can hurt the economy and make people and businesses lose money. That's why the U.S. government works hard and spends a lot of money to make sure our bills are safe and easy to check. By using special materials, detailed designs, and smart machines, they keep the money you use every day real and trustworthy. Inclusion. And there you have it, the amazing journey of American money. From the special fabric-like paper to the talented artists and powerful machines, every step in making a U.S. bill is full of care, detail, and high-tech protection. Who would have thought so much work goes into something we use every day? Now, when you hold a dollar bill, will you see it the same way? Will you remember the hands, the machines, and the brains behind it all? It's more than just money. It's a piece of American creativity and smart thinking. If you enjoyed learning about how your money is made, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories just like this one. See you next time, and stay curious.